In the last class we have seen working process, a simple cycle of manufacturing. You can go to work in process. In the work in process we have discrete job to be created. The discrete job is nothing but work order. If something has to be worked, something has to be manufactured then definitely we have to go ahead with the work order. If there is no work order, there will not be, there will not be any work. From the plant point of view, manufacturing unit point of view, what is plant? Where the manufacturing will be taken place? Any inventory organization that can be a manufacturing plant or a warehouse simply where some distribution activities will be carried out. If you want to establish a godown that should be an inventory organization sometimes it depends upon the case sometimes that godown can be treated as sub inventory as well it depends upon the situation is a warehouse is an organization it's a kind of manufacturing unit or a distribution center that should be decided and based on that you can do the setup concern setup in the inventory organizations in the inventory setup now let us go to manufacturing we have seen the simple cycle of creating a discrete job then we are completing one by one operation by performing more transactions when you decide that when you conclude all the operations have been completed then you go for completion transaction with which we are going to get the finished product couple of things to be considered as a part of this if you see if I start creating a discrete job, let me open the file. Okay, this is the file. Now, if I want to create a job, you can directly create a job work order. And you can complete a work order so that you can get a finished product into the inventory. Let us select the organization that is manufacturing unit. Let us create some jobs or particular job to complete one particular item. Then let us see how the transactions are going to going to be completed how we are going to complete one by one transactions one by one operations how we are getting the items quantity into the inventory let us see that first of all i want to see what are the first of all i want to say i want to find a job and let us discuss on the same thing what we discussed in the first class the same thing we go in depth for today today's class let us see i want to see the last work orders which have been created for the month of april April 1st to April 30th I want I want to see what are the discrete jobs have been created and if you want to see the status wise like you can see different statuses on the jobs like unreleased complete released on hold closed we have all these things we have within the close like pending Cancel jobs, we can see closed jobs, we can see fail to close, we can see all these things, and that depends depends upon particular status. If you want to see, if I want to see only complete right now, let us see for the month of April 1st to 30th, and I want to see all these jobs which are having complete status. See, and you can see the major difference like the jobs between you know we have types of jobs standard non-standard what standard non-standard standard means whenever a company goes for manufacturing it manufactures similar products like if you doubt if you take Tata Indica car all the Tata Indica cars are same until and unless somebody says I want Tata Indica cars but but with different seating different deck system different stereo stereo system different security levels with airbags such kind of you know we have already if you take a car we have 
with airbags, without airbags, with alloy wheels, without alloy wheels. All these things are available already. But apart from this, as per the customer requirement, if you customize any car, that is non-standard. That means standard which is happening regularly, which is happening regu regularly, the non-standard which is as per the customer requirement whenever the customer is specific about some requirement. This is what standard and non-standard. Non-standard rarely like whenever you go for certain manufacturing based on the customer order, customer specifications that is non-standard means we have certain designs and we have certain engineering bomb. What is bomb? Bills of material. You are supposed to consume four tires and you are supposed to use four stroke or four cylinder engine or six, tier, six cylinder engine, whatever it may be. But as per the customer requirement, if you want to replace four tires with six tires, back tires, rear wheels, I would like to have two tires on each side. Then if this is the customer requirement, this is called non-standard where you would require to deviate from the standard. Standard would suggest only four tires in case you are deviating from the standard and you are going to going for six tires, then definitely it is a non-standard. So we have standard, non-standard jobs and we have all the assemblies. These are all finished to finished goods. Assembly means finished good. And for each, if you take certain jobs, like let us say, let us take the job number 15780. 15780. Okay. Now let us see. one five seven eight zero this is the job i would like to see let us take the job number let us analyze analyze the job then we go for new job this is the job number one seven one five seven eight zero this is the job okay now this is religious religious status and we have the job history how many have been completed i don't know how many have been completed if it is blank that thing has been completed and with this job let us work on this job and how to complete this this is the job and this is the item description and for every item it is a finished good just like a car and car would require raw materials like tires chassis body engine clutch brake all these things like this you know this finished good would require certain components so are those components are indicated in the components field components button these are the raw materials these are the sub assemblies you could you would require to manufacture this finished good this bomb is coming from standard bills of material definition for every finished good there should be a bomb now let us see we are having here the discrete job and this is the assembly and these are the raw materials or sub assemblies we would require we can say raw materials components which are required to manufacture this finished good it is coming as per the bills of material definition that's what we have to do as per the setup of the bomb in which we have the we have mentioned the quantities to manufacture one product how many items are required required see to manufacture these many products I would require these many items but per assembly I would require this much quantity this item I would require this much quantity for this this item I would require this much quantity like that we have different quantities required to manufacture one assembly but as per job quantity the quantity is something else if you see the job quantity 2800 to manufacture 2800 quantity I would require this much quantity of this component this much quantity of this much, this component like that we have different raw materials sub assemblies components we would require to manufacture this finished good for the quantity of 2800 i would require this much quantity it is calculated from the standard bills of material that is called bomb engineering engineering bomb and you can see for every quantity this present 
the what is the online quantity for these items you can see here this is quantities supply it's very important point to discuss supply type if you see here it is like when you go for supply it is having what is required so this is quantity it is showing quantities okay this is supply and supply type is push pull operation pull assembly pull we have different supply types it's very important question as a part of manufacturing what is push what is pull what is operation pull what is assembly pull we are going to discuss that these are very important even though they are coming from the setup by default how we are going to set up if you don't know what is supply type what is push what is pull what is operation pull what is assembly pull do you don't know exactly as per the requirement of the client what kind of supply type should be selected so in this process you should have like we have job and this is the assembly and for this we would require engineering bomb we call it as components and those components are coming by default from the our bomb setup that is engineering bomb setup for this particular finished good what is the bomb setup based on that it is defaulting then in the bomb setup we mentioned this item to be pushed not pulled what is the difference between push pull we are going to discuss assembly pull operation pull what is the difference between those transaction types supplier types somebody says in the manufacturing what is supply type you have to answer push pull operation pull assembly pull all these things and you should, you should know what is the difference between them otherwise it's not complete answer is not complete so listen carefully very important the terminology is different from the supply chain management it is completely production terminology manufacturing terminology now and apart from that to manufacture this item i would require different operations and what are the operations you would require if you want to manufacture a car first you would require fabrication welding then bodybuilding then erection of engine parts or or whatever it may be body parts and everything erection then painting then test drive then you are going to inventorize into the finished good then only car is ready similarly we have for to manufacture this item we have different operations what are the operations you would require you can see in the description what is each operation name it is coating and first we have to set up the machine then we have to run that machine then the machine changes another the item which has been completed by the end of 20th operation that item to be carried to the next machine then that is called setup that item to be carried to the next machine and set up then run Similarly, at the end end of the end of the operation of fortieth operation, you would get some something else, some item. That item is sub assembly or semi finished good, and that has to be run on different machine. That is at the operation of fifty. That can be again. You have to set up on the machine. Then you have to run that machine. Finally, when you complete, that is the end product that has come at the end of sixtieth operation. You have to. do some more operations like 70 80 90 and this is failed phase this is called phase tedler setup and this is what we have to do at the time of 70th operation for which you would require the semi finished good that has come from the 60th operation to be set up first and then run that machine then finally you are getting you are reached to inspection where you are getting what are the finished product what are the service semi finished good or finished good that has been come out of this particular 80th operation that should be tested inspected at the final operation if it is passed our quality inspection then we are going to put into the inventory this is called inspection so we have this many operations to be conducted to in order to get the finished product by consuming the materials right at each operation we would request it in of certain items for 30th sequence 30th operation i would require component these are the components i don't require any component but at 40 i would require certain components this is the component i would require and what quantities you can see here 
per assembly i would require 0 0.798 quantities but totally as per the job quantity whatever the job quantity 2000 above and for to manufacture that quantity i would require this item for the quantity of this much this is all coming from the bomb setup how to do the bomb setup we are going to discuss now now we have seen the simple cycle of manufacturing let me complete some of the jobs like before completing i would see the job require material requirement okay here you can see in the components i would require certain items for which the online quantity is zero let us say if these raw materials are actually not required to manufacture this item let us say sometimes what happens you would require all the components whatever you mention in the bomb and this much quantity you would require to manufacture the job quantity that is more than 2000 let us say these are all raw materials so what are the raw materials let us say the quantity is zero but we have the sub assemblies required to manufacture this item are these three let us say for simple simple understanding let me tell you an example our desktop let us say what are the raw materials you would require to manufacture a desktop somebody says i would require ram motherboard fan panel motherboard chips semiconductors adapters all these things plus mouse keypad keyboard monitor within the monitor if you say if somebody says monitor what is monitor that is a sub assembly if somebody is not saying some monitor instead picture tube and all the raw materials of your monitor so if somebody takes by raw materials and somebody says sub assemblies the same requirement to manufacture desktop somebody says like this cpu keyboard key like mouse then monitor that's it over four items you would require to manufacture desktop similarly you would require hundreds of items to manufacture the desktop somebody takes each raw material as a component whereas somebody says by taking sub assemblies simply he says four sub assemblies which can form the desktop you should understand what is the difference between selecting the components and selecting the sub assemblies now similarly if i say these three are sub assemblies and i do not require because this sub assembly already to manifest the let us for this case okay in actual practice it's not the case but only thing is for this case let us say these three are sub assemblies for which we do not require this component this component this component why because let us say it's like when you have cpu you do not require ram motherboard chip or whatever it may be because when you say cpu that is all included with fans motherboard panels and everything right if you have cpu why do you require rams again so somebody says somebody talks about the raw material like rams and all those things then you have to take care of all the components one by one but somebody talks about sub assemblies like cpu why do you require ram now the cpu is already consisting of 8 gb ram so the cpu itself is a sub assembly like that if you take this sub assembly and this sub assembly which would require some raw materials might be this item this item this item might be component of this sub assemblies and if you do if you have these two items and remaining items i do not require to manufacture this item why because when you have cpu you do not require ram to manufacture say manufacture the desktop so i don't if, if it is the ram i can delete this so let us take for this for this case the similar case like now for that we have to update at the job level it is very important question it is released can you update in the components directly by changing the quantities you cannot change you cannot change required can you change if you type something see it won't let you because there is a message field is protected against update to change what do you have to do let us take the job number it's a very important question how do you update the material requirement for a discrete job so when a discrete job is existing 
and if you want to change some material requirement you should go to job schedule details then you have to go to material requirements then open the material requirement enter the job number this is the job number then find when you find the same items are existing see but when you go to quantities let us I, I told you already and this one and this one are assemblies sub assemblies which would require these are the items as per the desktop case for example if I do not require this item and this item and this item I can update I can delete this each line what are the line you want I don't want I can delete delete this yes delete this yes delete this yes next and even I do not require this item also these two sub assemblies would consist of all the raw materials like CPU which would have motherboard fan chips panels and everything so like that this is the case you have to update like this at job schedule levels save it now you have updated take the job number let us complete the operations how to complete I told you we have to move from one operation to another operation by conducting more operations simply you can move from 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 up to 80 but if you have already you completed 10 to 80 also I can complete within one shot so let us take this job number and you are moving from one operation to another operation let us say see 2797 quantities are there at 10 but one quantity has been reached to 40th operation one quantity at the end of 60th operation one quantity at the end of 80th operation but it is Q it's very important question what are the operations in the manufacturing intra operations are Q run to move reject scrap Q it's about to start run it started it and it's running to move that means that has been completed that a particular operation has been completed reject something due to miss work like whatever the work you have done immature or unskilled labor they will be working many mistakes they will be doing due to which we rejected some of the items are not up to the mark so we have to do rework at that point of time you have to reject so that they will come back to your run position at that particular operation they will redo the operation they will make sure that it is completed successfully to move reject means you can rework scrap means you cannot rework even though you spend some time to rework that is waste scrap means no use okay what would the when you scrap something at the end of 50th operation and your 10th operation work 20th operation work everything has gone you might have completed successfully 10th operation 20th operation 30th operation 40th operation 50th operation you scrapped and whatever the material you consumed at 10th operation, 20th operation, 30th operation, 40th operation that has gone, scrap means it is useless. So, scrap would require whatever the material you consumed during the different operations that has gone waste means that's gone, gone wasted. So, so we have to remove that, I remove those items for that reason. What are the components you consume to manufacture that item during those operations that has gone wasted? You know, so inventory items are depleted. I mean, that is the reason. Inventory items you consumed, but you produce nothing as if it should go. Then that is the reason it is asking if you scrap, it will ask you account number to be adjusted against that material cost. I will show you now. I want to move from one operation to another operation. Let us say 2797 quantities are at 10. Q 20. I want to complete 20. You can select to move. How much quantity you move? Let us say 104 quantities you have moved. Save it. You can save from here also. When you save, enter the job number again. Let us see. If you see the operations from and to, See, just now I completed. You can see how many I completed. 2004 or 104. I just completed 20th operation. Let us select one, 104 quantities from 20th operation. 
and I completed up to 30 or I completed up to let us say 80th operation. It's up to you. But in real time, it will be from one operation to another operation because it's just like it's not just like you are moving from one operation to another operation. We have to run that operation on particular machine. Let us say I'm not doing directly to 80, but let us say from 20 to 30. I scrapped because whatever, how much quantity 1 out 4 or I started from 20th to 30th, but I scrapped around 5. When you say quantity 5, it is asking number. Have you observed here? But that means why it is asking a number? You know that scrap for 5 quantities. What are the raw meters you consumed at 10th operation, 20th operation for, two ma for manufacturing these 5 items? That has gone wasted. So that is the reason. Wastage means inventory you already consume, but that means inventory got depleted. In inventory has got decreased the number. The quantity on and quantity has been decreased. When it is decreased, which is having a negative effect, so that means there is something which is having a positive effect. There, what is that positive eff positive effect? That is called the scrap account. You have to give that account number. Then you have to go to combination. What is the scrap account number? You have to find. You have to find. It might be this is the scrap account. Then select. Then you have to enter. Save. We have to enter the reason for scrap. Why are you rejecting? Okay. Something. Some problem. Save it. Then. It is saved. Now enter the job number again. I want to move. So let us see the sequence from N2. When you see, have you observed here? See, five. I have scrapped. So five quantities have been moved to scrap. But remaining 99 at 20th operation with 99 quantity. 99 plus 5 is 1 out 4 quantities that you completed at 20th operation. But when you reach it to 30th operation, you scrapped 5. Remaining 20, 99, I am going to start now. From 2 more, from 20 to let us say successfully, I completed up to 80. What is the quantity? I successfully means 2 more is the final operation, intra operation. So I have completed 99. That's it. Save it. Next again, complete the job. See, enter the job number. See, now the status is like this. Have you observed? 5 at scrap because scrap we cannot be removed. And 99 has been completed up to 80, I think. Yeah. Final step is 90. So, I have, I am going for 99 from 80th step 2. It is it to move. Now, Till 90, I, um, I want to complete. Complete means to move again. Then how much quantity? Available quantity 99. I want to complete all the 99. Then enter the 99. Click save. Over. Enter the job number. Find out. Let us see again. Where is that? Now it is there at final operation. So you can complete. By doing completion transaction for 99 only. But one is at Q. One is at Q again at 60th operation another machine 40th means another machine 60th means another machine like that we have different machines and we have certain quantities at different machines and but i i'm sure that 99 have been completed successfully with the end of the final operation that is inspection so let us complete 99 okay now i told you i have to complete the transaction by doing the completion transaction for that particular job see here available to complete 29 no, sorry 99 whereas job quantity is 2800 i want to continue and now you can complete and you can inventorize 99 quantities into finished goods sub inventory that is called wip finished goods sub inventory into the finished goods sub inventory locator that is called fin locators means row rag bin combination okay now 
how much quantity i want to select how much is available for completion 99 you can select maximum 99 if you want to if you have available to complete 99 you cannot select you can't select more than 99 so select final completion i want to do it it is a lot serial number item it's lot controlled item this fincher good item is lot controlled item so i have to enter lot serial number here let us say my serial number lot number lot number is let us say it is Okay, this is a lot let us say and how much quantity I am going to complete only 99 so let us complete 99 save it done that's it click done now if you see the on hand quantity for this particular finisher good item 99 quantities might be there at sub inventory that is called finisher good sub inventory WIPFIN that's it this is what the discrete job completion but whereas we have to discuss some of the important things if you take this item so what is the item finished good item what is the finished good item in this discrete job my discrete job is this and when you go for this and this is the finished good item let us take this finished good item how we are going to define the bomb let us see it's very important setup now we are going to discuss bomb let us go to bills of materials bills of material there is a sequence of defining the each setup interviewer asks can you define a bomb how do you otherwise how do you define the bomb somebody says open the bomb form bills of material form and define no it's wrong you cannot go directly to define the bomb why because to define bomb there is a sequence of steps what are those what is the first step the first step is defining a resource okay you define the resource then can you define the bomb no next you have to define the departments okay you define resource departments now can you do the definition of bomb no you define resource you define departments but after that you are going to defend operations in that operation what are the departments what are the resources you would require to perform the work that you have to correlate so define resource define department assign department to the respective employees means and respective resource that resource coming is coming from this particular department how can you say that if you have a if you build a for link between the resource and department then only can call this resource from this particular department i would require so define a resource define a department assign what are the resources coming from each department assign accordingly resource and department then operations or is operation operation means the things you would require to complete means what to manufacture car i would require fabrication is an operation welding is an operation painting is an operation erection is an operation test drive is an operation all these operations we have to complete one by one that means we have to reach from 10 to final operation we have to complete it that means you have to define all those operations and at each operation what are the resources where what is the department you would require that is coming in a sequence that is as per the setup we have to defend the resource we have to defend the departments and what resources are existing in the watch the what department you have to build a relation then defend the operations to perform that operation what resource you would require and that resource coming from which department this is all interlinked okay we have resource we have department we have sequence of operations and what are the department what are the employees you would require to perform the respective functions respective operations then there is routing that is very important without routing you cannot do the manufacturing what is routing the sequence the sequence of operations to be performed 
and what kind of sequence of resources you would require to perform different activities. All this in a sequence that is what we correlate and we build in routings that routing is so important. When you have routing then you are having eligibility to define the bomb. Bills of material means what component you would require, what operation, what are the first items you would require, what is the next item you would require. Finally, in respect to operations, what are the items you would require? And finally, for final operation, what do you what do you require? That's what in sequence you will be arranging. So somebody asks like this, can you define the bomb? Yes, I define the bomb. Now tell me what is the procedure to, procedure to define the bomb? It is very simple. First, I have to define resource. Define departments, assign resources to departments. Then define the operations and mention what resources you would require to perform those operations. Then the sequences, sequence of operations to be completed to have particular job to be completed. That's what we call it as routing for a certain finished goal. What are the operations in sequence? What are the resources in sequence? What are the items in sequence you would require? That's what we are get, going to mention in the routing. Then we are going for bills of material where the list of items in a sequence that you would require will be arranged. Then you can go for manufacturing. When you create a discrete job based on the setup of resource, department, operation, routing, bomb, that will be defaulted. That's what you can see in the discrete job, in the component field, in the operation field, in the resource field. Then you can move from one operation to another operation. It will be completed. Finally, you reach to completion transaction where you complete the whatever the requested quantity. Then you get the quantity into the inventory. This is how you are going to manufacture. Let us see quickly what is the resource, department, operations, routing, bomb. Routings. First, I have to define resource. Then department. Then standard operations. Then routing. Then come to the bills of materials. It is a sequence of defining. If somebody says, I open the bill, bills form and define. Wrong. Without routing, you cannot define. Without resource, you cannot define department. Without resources in the department, you cannot perform the operations. Without having the sequence of operations to, to be conducted and sequence of resources to be conducted, to be followed. If you, are, if you are not having a link, if you are not building the link between resources, department, operations, so you cannot build routing and without routing, there is no manufacturing. Without, without routing, there is no manufacturing at all. So in this process, let us see what is resource. In the routing, we have resources. For the organization, if you query, I can show you some of the resources like this. This is the resource for outside processing. This is the resource for outside processing, OSP. These are all OSP resources. But normal resources, you can see, you find we are all the resources like see assembly commercial the fiber tight fiber tight so this is one type of product fiber tight product in which we have we have machine for having for manufacturing this product fiber tight item it's a kind of tarpaulin we know tarp tarpaulin right will be used in the rains so it's a kind of fiber tight material. It's a kind of material, quality material, which is very costly when compared to normal tarpaulin. So we are going to manufacture this and and I want the resource. Assembly FTR fiber tight machine. It's a type of machine is machine, not not person, not miscellaneous, not currency, not amount. What is charge type? It's very important question again. It seems just like supply type we have charge type. Charge type manual, PO reset, PO move, WIP move. Normally, whenever you are completing one by one operations, at that particular operation, and how the charging, how the crafting, 
how the job value to be calculated that's what this charge type talks about what is charge type if you would have manufactured it out of desktop let us say you manufacture cpu to manufacture cpu how much time you would require what are the parameters you would require and the moment you complete the operation by which you would require desktop cpu manufacturing I can say by the end of that operation we got the CPU does it mean that desktop has been completed no we just completed CPU so the moment you complete CPU can I say that CPU has been formed and what are the RAMs you use to manufacture CPU or motherboard chips or whatever it may be panels and all those things to be charged when you say CPU is a cost of $5,000 or $500 how you got that $500 value to that RAM might be $100 motherboard might be $200 all together which we are getting CPU that CPU is derived by the cost of each raw material component we has been used in the process of manufacturing the desk, desktop and sorry sorry cpu then we are getting finally cpu value is 500 dollars so charge type the moment manual means to get that 500 dollar against the cpu somebody has to issue that man material manually and what is the cost of those materials which have been issued calculated will be calculated and charged to that particular job and saying that these are the material cost these are the resource cost has been incurred to manufacture this much quantity to perform this particular operation that is how we are getting like manually means after manually we are going to incur what are the remedies you issued PO receipt. What is PO? Purchaser. Why do you require receipt? When you get the something, when you get something from supplier, when supplier will be involved in the manufacturing. I told you. Clear example. Customer orders for car. Car is available in the showroom. But he is asking the car with Teflon coating. That coating is not existing in our warehouse. So our vehicle will be sent to some garage and where the workman will be conducting Teflon coating. After finishing, that will be delivered again back to showroom. And the showroom guy then calls the customer to take the item. But showroom guy car charges to the customer. What is the actual cost he paid to the garage boy? He might have paid some 3000 And he may charge you for 5000 customer. So that means to get the Teflon coating from garage by the Tata Motor company, then they have to raise a PO with another supplier so that the supplier who provides the Teflon coating raise the PO when you receive the services get the PO receipt when you do the PO receipt that job to be incurred against the total car finished good car value similarly PO move sometimes PO receipt PO move sometimes you may require receipt you sometimes you may not require receipt when I say three way, receipt is required. When I say two way, receipt is not required. Why? Your receipt routing is two way, three way, four way. Standard inspection required or direct. Direct, I do not require any receipt. Standard, I would require receipt. Inspection required, not only receipt, you have to inspect and accept. And what are the quantity you accepted that much only you pay? So that's what people move. People receipt, manuals. WIP move. What is WIP move? WIP move means in the discrete job we are moving from one operation to another operation that is what we call it as move transaction when you are moving from one operation to another operation let us say 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 90 is inspection and at each operation you would require certain items to be included the moment you complete first operation let us say car fabrication chassis 
wheel alignment. When wheel alignment is the 40th operation, I would require four tires. I do not require four tires at first operation, that is 10th operation. When you reach to 40th operation, I would require four tires. So, what is the exact requirement at the 40th operation? That is coming from your material requirement at what operation? When you mentioned in the setup saying that so and so operation would require four tires, then four tires will be pulled or manually issued in that particular operation. So the WIP move means what? The moment you complete that operation, what is the material you would require at that particular operation will be depleted. Charge to discrete job. So the moment you complete that particular operation, what are the raw material cost, what are the resource cost, everything will be accumulated and you will be getting a value at the end of 40th operation. What are the value you are getting at the end of 40th operation? That has been charged to that particular operation and we got some value. That's what we call it as, you know, charge type, which is very important question, manual, PO receipt, PO move, WIP move. And what are the machine resource? There is an unit of measure that is HR always. What is HR? Hour. When is when you say machine, machine runs for certain hours to manufacture something. Machine cannot run for one minute to produce a product. It should run for certain hours. So System should capture for how many hours the machine is running. For running machine for one hour, how many resources, labor you would require. Everything has been linked. When you say some operation you would require of outside processing, then you have to, by the end of, let us say, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40th operation where you have to send this item, what was the end product of 30th operation? You want to send it to outside, get it some service, and further 40 will be completed, then 50 to be started. In this process, you have to send the product that you got by the end of 30th operation because 40th operation is OSP. Send that whatever the finished good, semi finished good at the end of 30th operation. Send that sub assembly to the supplier by having a PO. Then get the service on the sub assembly that you produced by the end of 30th operation. Then take back that is called PO receipt. Then conduct 40, 50, 60, whatever it may be, 60, 50, 60th operations on that. When you pay something to outside party, so for outside party, again, you know, if it is outside, then you have to enable this. And what kind of item it is? It is nothing but service item. Are you having any item when you go for outside processing? For example, Teflon coating. We have car. Car has been sent to supplier. Supplier has given back the car only. But what he has done? He has done only service. What service he has done? Just painted, just coated with a Teflon. That is a service. And whenever you have this resource and you consume three hours or four hours or five hours, then how much is the rate? That rate is nothing but this 53 per hour. You have to enter that's it this is what resource then you have to defend the departments in the departments you can have different names the name of the department f11 control f11 there is a department name mixing name like mixing is the department dry blend is the department coating department coating large calendar department top finish department like that inspection department fabricated fabrication department commercial fabrication department Downtime department means maintenance department, outside processing department. Like that, we have different departments. For every department, whatever the resource you just know you define in the sequence, that has to be linked, this resource to be linked to this particular department. So, in the resource button, you will mention what are the resources you define in the resource forms. I might have defined this resource, this resource, second resource, third resource, and all those resources, different names. Resource means welder, right? You can see a person can work like a welder. 
How many persons are working as welders? I can say 10 members. Does it mean that each person name is a resource? No, resource is welder. But employees who are working as welder might be in multiple numbers. Okay, then we should have department and in this department, what are all, who are all the persons, who are all the resources working, we have to link it. Okay, now, we have the departments now, then resource has been defined and what resource, you have to define the department and in that department, what resources are working, you have to link. Then you have to move to standard operations. In the standard operations, we have these many operations, you see. Okay, these are all codes. This is the operation code. This is the description. This is the department. Okay, so how we are going to have these links? In the standard operations, you define all the operations and each operation, what the department is going to be, is going to be a part of this particular operation, that department name. So all these things, you know, you have to enter. Standard operations. So 10 is one operation, 20th is another operation, 30th is another operation, like that you have all the operations. If you take any operation, if you take any operation, then there should be operation resources. To conduct that operation, some resource I would require, some worker I would require. So this is how you are going to link. And we have the item basis and lot basis. What is item? What is lot? Lot is bulk item is individuals. We are having standard operations. To conduct standard operations, you would require resources. And those resources should come from departments. Then you go for routing. In the routings, just now I taken the item, right? Routing is against the item. This is the item code. Okay. Now you will take the item and find how to find the routing already existing the routing routing is already existing for this item you find then item you enter this is the item for this route for this item what is the routing routing is complete combination of what are the operations what are the routing means what are the operations and each operation to conduct what is the resource you would require and each resource comes from which department it's all link will be mentioned in the routings if you see here this is the routing for this particular item and this is the operations required i would require 10 20 30 40 50 like that i would require these many operations whereas at each operation which department should work this department should work there is a code given to that particular department instead of name and in that department what are the resources working for 50th operation you have to mention here this is machine and this is lab Okay, lot means bulk, item basis means that is the running. Lot means what? Machine works for one hour, produces how much? That is lot. Item basis means what? Machine runs for this much and to, to produce one yard of material or one meter length of material. That is the difference between lot basis and item basis. Okay, now, so this is what the link for this operations and what are the resources and that resources and routing details for this operation. What is the routing details? If you see here, by the end of the completion of all the, all the operations that should be inventorized and kept, the finished good should be kept in sub inventory WIP FIN sub inventory. This is what routing. When you complete this routing, then only you can go for bomb. What is bomb? Let us copy this. Let us go to bomb. If you go to bills of material, internet bomb, internet bills of material, select the item I am selecting, then find. If you find this item, it will show you the bills of material for this item. I would require this item, this item, this item, all these items to manufacture this particular finish good item. And at each item, we have Bills detail, what is the item, what is the sequence of item, which item to be supplied first, I cannot supply this item at first, then this, this item cannot be supplied at 70th operation, so that is the reason, you see, 
This item I would require as a first item at 20th operation. This item I would require at second item as a second item at 20th operation, same operation. But this item I would require as a 30th operation, third, op third item at 40th operation. Like that you have sequence. You have to build a relation between what is the resource, what is the department, what is the item, what are, what is the sequence to be followed to complete the finished products. Then we have quantities. This is the item, and these are the quantities. You have to mention in the bills of material what is the quantity you would require. This is what bomb when you have set in bomb. If you find it, you can see what is bills of details. I want this item as a first item at 20th operation but at the 20th operation I mentioned 20 item sequence for this item means what it is the second item like that how much quantity you would require at each operation is mentioned already effectivity it's what so engineering it's called to manifest this item I would require these are the items instead of this item you want something else then you put end date from date to date we have to put in the end date and add one more line which item instead of this item you are using sophisticated item new technology item then put that and item and from the which date you are going to enable that that's what there in the engineering change order that is called ECO engineering change order in which implemented means this item is getting used to manufacture this item in case you defined the seventh line or it is eighth line and saying that it's not implemented, but it is effective, effective from so and so date, from next week onwards. So from next that particular date onwards, this ECO will be enabled automatically. Okay, so like that we have the setup of you know defining the resources and and that resource comes from which department and what are the operations to be conducted to manufacture the financial product. And at each operation, I would request certain resources, and those resources are coming from certain departments. The sequence of resources to be required, sequence of items to be required, all these things are you are going to set up as a part of bomb setup. That's what we call it as bomb definition. If you want to define a bomb, you would require to define the resource first, then define the department, assign the resources to the respective department, then define the operations and to conduct those operations, what are the resources you would require. In turn, the resource comes from certain department that is already already that has been built. So then routing is the sequence of items, sequence of operations you would require to be conducted. Then finally you are reaching to finally, you are reaching to bomb where you are mentioning what are the raw materials you would require what are the components you would require what are the sub assemblies you would require to complete the discrete job for certain finished good for that finished good we are mentioning the bomb okay this is what like the basic concepts of bills of material that you would require as a part of manufacturing